Good morning. It has been a year and a half since Susan and I were last together. And with the obvious exception of the pandemic, that is the most amount of time that we have ever spent apart. It's too long. So today I am heading to LAX. Would lie to you, didn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. See, I'm literally the last person in line to get on this shuttle. Uh, the next one doesn't come for another 20 minutes, so I should just make it in time. Just like, this is perfect. This trip is already off to a great start. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. Okay. I have made it to the airport successfully, and I am the first in line here to check my bags because the counter doesn't open for another 20 minutes. Um, but that's what uh, the next like 36 hours of my life is gonna be, is just waiting in places. So uh, the waiting begins. <laughs> this makes for great vlog content, just someone sitting. Literally everything is working out perfectly today. A dude at the check-in counter saw me waiting and just kind of like waved me in even though I was way too early. They took my bags. Usually when I do like a travel like this, especially international, I'm kind of anxious and nervous in the pit of my stomach. But this trip, I feel perfectly at peace. I feel confident. Uh, and I, ju I just have a good feeling in my gut. I have a 90 minute layover in Tokyo, AKA sprint from one side of the airport to the other. And then from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m., I'm in Singapore. Unfortunately, that's not a great time to like leave the airport and see the sights of the city. So I'm just gonna uh, find a seat and sleep. And then Singapore to Penang. I am an aisle seat in the very back of the plane, but that's fine. That's cool. As long as I can get to see something happy. I am just sleep deprivation in human form right now. I could not sleep on the flight and I slept really rough last night. So I just kind of feel like I'm in a fog. Thank you so much. <sighs> I'm not proud of it, but I, I took the pillow because I'm gonna need it. My next layover is from 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. and I have a suspicion that the airport's gonna be closed around those times. So I'm gonna need to sleep. All the way to the back. <laughs> Thank you to Singapore Airlines for letting me take their pillow. It legitimately has made all the difference in the world. After a combined total of 16 hours of being confined in the same 
like a like smushed position now that I can like fully stretch and this is the best sleep I think I've ever had in my life I feel so amazing so deeply refreshed I mean this is just <sighs> So my flight is at 8 a.m. Uh, it's 4.40 right now. Uh, I'll give myself about three hours to actually find the gate, maybe pop into the restroom and brush my teeth, shampoo my hair, because your boy came prepared, brought some, uh, some of the travel stuff for that. But in the meantime, I am going to continue enjoying the world's greatest hotel bed right here. Seriously, I don't think I've ever slept this good in my life. My brain feels so refreshed and energized and ready. <sighs> well, I gotta get up. Time to refresh myself a little before seeing Susan. I don't want her to see me in this state. <laughs> It is new. <laughs> now I just have one final little jump from Singapore to Penang, and this is it. This is my last flight. Right over there. Let's go. Are you sitting? Yeah. <laughs> 